All right, I want to move on to the Las Vegas Aces. Me and C-Win went over to the Aces game yesterday. Aces yeah. were in the playoffs. It was a one-and-done game. If you lose the game, you are out of the playoffs. If you win the game, then I believe you go on to play the Mystics, right, the Washington Mystics. This was an unbelievable game. Uh, I, I don't go to a ton of WNBA and, and, games. We've had Bill Lane Beer in studio. I know JD and Bill became friends, so that's nice. We text um, regularly. Yes. Uh, well, listen, it's I like a budding relationship. I, I like going I to these love games. The Aces. Yes. I love the WNBA. <laughs> so it's a great atmosphere. So we go to the game yesterday. They happen to be playing at the Thomas and Mack Center, not Mandalay right. Bay, because of some events they had at Mandalay Bay. So you didn't really know how the Aces were gonna were gonna start this game. They seemed pretty pumped up, mm-hmm. um, but they did not play well to start this game. A- at one point, they were down double digits in this game, and they trailed for, for most of the game late in the fourth fourth quarter they're up five points and uh, I, I tell you I give this team they played a lot of credit mm. because they fought back uh, so the situation that we're in here and I want to just set the, the table here because it was pretty cool the aces are down two points with five seconds to go now in most basketball games I don't care what level it is it could be kindergartners or it could be the NBA when you're down two points with five seconds to go it is an extremely tall task to come back and win the game okay something catastrophic has to happen well it does uh, five seconds left to go. The Aces are trying to fall, and a turnover. They grab the ball. Oh, uh, they didn't even have the ball? No. Oh, I no, thought no. it was like a design play. No. They stole the ball. Right, no. Right. All they no. had to do was inbound, right. and it was over. <laughs> right. Oh, my so God. They accidentally so, stole the ball. Yeah, well, yeah. basically, it was just it was a horrible pass. I mean, that's really what happened here. Wow, I did it, not know that. A horrible pass, and... Um, I did not know that. So five seconds left to go. That was news to there's, me. There's literally four seconds on the shot clock, and one of the Aces players... Heaves up a forty-five. Derricka Hamby, who yeah, was the yeah. sixth woman of the year, she didn't. She she didn't know how much time the was. NBA. Clearly, she didn't know how much time was up there. Uh, with four seconds to go, they would have had an uncontested layup if she looked up the floor, but she didn't. I don't think she looked at the clock. Clearly, she didn't. And she <laughs> heaves up what was basically a half-court off-balance shot. I don't care if you're a man or a woman. I don't care who you are. That's a low percentage shot. You're probably going to make that one out of fifty times. And what I mean, she, that's pushing one out of yeah. maybe one out of five hundred. Yeah, and she she drills it, and the crowd is going nuts. And then she looks at the clock, and she's, oh my god, she's celebrating like they just won the game. And then she realizes there's still four seconds on the clock. They take the lead by one, and then there's a timeout. And long story short, the Aces win the game. I've never seen the finish to any basketball game in any level like that one. It it, it was on Sports Center last night, and and the crowd was going crazy. By the way, I give a lot of credit to the fans because I'm going to tell you right now, it was a lot louder in the Thomas and Mack Center yesterday than it was for a UNLV game in years, my friend. In years, Chris, you were there. Do yeah. you agree? It was a cr- pretty incredible atmosphere. But both Lee and JD, it was funny because in the post game press conference, Bill Lambeer referenced, of course, the steal in the 19. 19- 87 Bird playoffs stole against the, the Celtics and Bird. He might have been Bird stole the ball and, and Dennis Johnson laid it up and in and Bird and uh, of course Bill made that uh, comparison and that. But it was uh, it was extraordinary. Uh, it, obviously an ending like that, there's no way to break it down from a you know statistical standpoint or from a, you know it was it was a crazy ending. And uh, of course the way that Brian described the game, the way that the Aces played throughout the game, where there was a, a number of times they were down double digits that in that matchup very, that was... and didn't play well, but still find a, a way to grind it out. It was pretty impressive well, and the crazy thing is that was the second off balance shot that was mm-hmm. made in that game because kelsey plum did the exact same thing by the way plum to, was fantastic to, 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 take, to take the lead in the third quarter so there's yeah. definitely yeah lady luck literally was on the aces side well, i think what everyone here is forgetting to see is how great of a storyteller brian shapiro <laughs> is on that i mean that was just a fantastic storytelling well, well first of all i love basketball uh second of all i support what the aces are doing um and it was a fun atmosphere Have you ever we- seen him shoot lee uh, I can shoot the ball. But anyway, that's another story. He can, no, stroke, I would, it. He can stroke it from deep. Uh, really? I, 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 I always, yeah, so can I. I, I always uh, pronounce her name wrong. Liz Cambage. Oh, I would love to go head to head. Liz, Cam- Liz Cambage. Cambage. Yeah, Liz I always, Cambage, I always yeah. pronounce her name wrong. You know, you look at her stats, and she had like 22 points and 17 rebounds. You say, wow, what a monster game. I'm, t- I'm sorry. I thought she was awful. She turned the ball over a lot. She missed a lot of easy laps. This is my problem with her. I have a couple problems. First of all, <laughs> and I'm not trying to analyze the team or anything, yeah. but, you know, Bill Lane Beer said to the media that she said late in the game, give me the ball. My teammates are not passing him the ball. First of all, shut up, okay? You're not making shots. You're missing layups. You're not playing well. Why don't you be a teammate and give the ball to somebody that is making shots? That's number one. You know, she's huge. She's 6'10", okay? That's really? why she grabs 17 she, rebounds. She's 6'8". Okay? She did not play well. Which she is was like horrible. being a seven foot five man. And I think she's extremely selfish when she says that late in a huddle. That's not showing leadership. You're not having a good game. She can't make a 10-foot jump shot, okay? I'm just not a big fan of hers, okay? I'm just going to go out and say that. And then somebody How asked, do you really feel? 
Somebody asked a question in the press conference uh, referencing the Knights, mm-hmm. saying, uh, hey, you know, the Knights have such this great fan support. Uh, what would you make of this great fan support here? It was, just, it was a fair question. Yeah. And she's like, I don't know why you brought up the Knights. You know, what? Liz, the world doesn't yeah. re- revolve around you. I know you were naked in the body issue. Yes, and that, it does, Brian. You know, I, I know <laughs> she was naked in the body issue, and then she even said some weird things about that. It shouldn't be about sexuality. I just don't like her. I, I just, I'm sorry. I just don't like Liz. I don't like I, her. I think you two should go on a date. Yeah, I don't know who yeah, she like, is, but now I'm interested. I, I I'm intrigued. This sounds like a yeah. secret crush well, type heard, of situation. I, heard, I, I will say this about the Aces. He probably asked her out, and she said no. It's very possible. The, the Aces <laughs> That's have, what this is. The Aces have the most talent in the WNBA, but they are very, they very, they're very sloppy with the ball. They average about 18 turnovers a game, yeah, and, they, that, and that is an issue. They have way and, too many turnovers. And they're not yeah. good in space against good passing teams. Mm-hmm. So this this game now, I will say, whoever wins this Aces-Mystics game, they win the WNBA. Yep. Is it and, only and, one? And, it's not one game. No, no, it's, no, two out of three. no, but no, but the, these are the these are the best two teams. No matter in the, what, in the happens, WNBA. I have a problem with any two out of three series in any sport, whatever it is. I agree. Two out of three, and they used to do I that. Mean, in Major on. League Baseball used to do that for years. It was yeah, at ridiculous. least give me and, three and, out and of five. Do, Seven's a little much. So I, have, I have a couple of hefty wagers on the Aces to win it all too. And I feel. Pretty, I feel all right. I'm lukewarm about him right now. Well, how do you guys feel about this? Because Liz uh, Cambage uh, spoke yeah. about this after the game. The fact that the commissioner of the WNBA, who, by the way, we had on the show a few weeks ago, is having a chartered flight uh, for West Coast teams to go to East, East Coast teams to go to West. Now, listen, I think that's all great and fine. But Liz Cambage, after the game, uh, said that well, it was owed to them and it, should, it shouldn't be a decision. Well, first of all, let's be clear on this. And again, I'm not trying to bash the WNBA. They should have private charters. Okay, I'm not trying to bash and, and the Brian, but business is business. And she's six foot eight. Imagine don't her. Don't care. Don't care. Uh, don't imagine, care. Imagine her on a flight. I don't He's care. He's four let seven. Me, Why would he care? Let, on me, a good day. let me give my opinion on yes. this, okay? Uh, whether they should have it or not is not the issue here. The issue here is Liz made it out to be that it's owed to them. Let's be very clear on this. The WNBA is a losing business. Okay, what does that mean, Liz? It means that your product loses money every year. It doesn't make money. Your product is not making money. I love the Aces. I'm glad they're here. I support the WNBA. It is a product that doesn't make money. So you know what that's like me saying? That, that, that's like me saying, you know, well, you know, I'm selling this product, right? It's not making money. But I think we should charge more for the product. I mean, that's really yeah. what we're talking about here. It makes zero sense. So, Liz, be grateful. Bill Lane Beer said he was grateful. Uh, I believe who, uh, who else was? Uh, uh, who was the other player that was uh, up the, there? Uh, it was. Uh, it was, I'm drawing a blank now. I think it you need a, to have her on the show. Asia Wilson. Asia Wilson. Yeah. So Asia Wilson seemed very grateful. Mm-hmm. Hey, we're happy that the committee. Okay, that's the way to answer it. Liz gets up there and she makes it like it's owed to her. First of all, you were horrible. You missed about 80 layups. Uh, for that reason alone, I don't think you should have a charter jet, okay? And number two, okay, nothing is owed to you, okay? Stop it with the nonsense. And if somebody wants to bring up the Vegas Golden Knights, which is a third-year franchise that has sellout games and preseason games, I think it is okay for a member of the media to bring that up, okay? So I just want to end on that. I'm sick of yeah. this attitude with her after the game. She does it all the time. J.D. and Lee, I think we're a matter of hours, maybe just a couple of days <laughs> away from seeing the social media pictures of Brian Shapiro <laughs> and Liz Cambage on a nice little date, hot well, date I mean, out in I mean, Vegas. Yeah. I'm thinking maybe karaoke night. I'm thinking somewhere around. I'm down for karaoke some night. Way <laughs> that Liz Cambage can, can get oh, herself into well, Brian Shapiro's car that, and take that, a ride that, around. That's how it works. <laughs> Last time we, we completely destroyed Megan Rapino, and four yes. days later, they're, they're in a picture on Instagram. Exactly. I'm a bigger fan of Megan Rapino. Pino for a lot of different reasons. Uh, I think she's better at her craft. Let's just put it that way. But anyway, I mean, um, uh, the WNBA, they are playing uh, uh, at Washington on Tuesday. We're going to try to get Bill Lane Beer on the show. We won't be talking about Liz, but we'll try to get Bill Lane Beer on the show tomorrow. Try to get him on today, but they're actually on a chartered flight right now. And listen, I'm glad they're on the it's chartered It's not chartered. It's actually pri- a private, private jets they, they can use. They can use the private jets. And obviously with the MGM being involved with the Las Vegas Aces, they have access yeah. to, to private travel. So like listen, that. I'm glad that they had the convenience of that. Mm-hmm. I just think the way they answered it or the way Liz answered it in the press conference, like it was owed to her. And mm-hmm. It was ridiculous. They even discussed it when you have a business that is not now, making keep, a profit. Well, you know she keep, feels keep, the same keep, way about, about re- salaries, right, guys? Yeah, I mean, well, she keep, thinks that keep, keep she probably mind, thinks WME players should be making $5 million a year. No, I mean, that's unreasonable. But keep in mind that this this you know But, J.D., you know this woman, this woman also said that my this this picture in in ESPN magazine is all about my power. It's not about my sexuality. And yeah. she said on numerous occasions she's actually going to quit basketball next year, move back to Australia where she's from, and start a family. So That's she, fine. She, she's kind of a different bird, so to speak. 
She is a different bird. Uh, she happens to be a woman that is 6'8". So uh, just for starters there, not many women are that tall. I'm almost 6'5". Uh, yeah, uh, that's pretty tall. But anyway, we're happy that the Aces <laughs> won last night. It was a great atmosphere. The fans came out. It was, a, it, it was a really fun game. It was a sloppy game, but the last couple minutes were extremely exciting, and I give the fans a lot of credit. The Thomas and Mack was rocking, man, and I'll say it, I've said it before. I'll say it again. The Thomas and Mack was louder last night than it was at, uh, for any UNLV basketball game in the last couple of years. I would even argue since the long Kruger days. We hope that T.J. Altsaberger uh, will get this thing going, uh, get this ride going. It's amazing. The basketball season is right around the corner. Yeah. Uh, the Houston Rockets, uh, I don't even know if I'm allowed to say this on the air, but I'll say it anyway. Uh, the Houston Rockets have started their training camp in Las Vegas today. I don't think one member of the media knew that, but James Harden was at the game last night. I knew the Houston Rockets were coming to town a few weeks ago from friends that are that are close with the the, the Rockets, so that's cool. So the Rockets are here for the next eight days. I saw I'm, a bunch of tall guys at the Aria the other night. That could be it. I'm yeah. not gonna. I do know where they're practicing. You'd be surprised if I told you where they're practicing. I won't say it on the air, but I'm gonna be going to one of the practices. Is it a high school level? I can't say that, but uh, I'll, I'm I don't gonna need be, to say what high school. I'm going to the practice, uh, so that'll be a lot of fun. Um, and they're practicing. Actually, they're starting their training camp a few weeks before, say, many other NBA teams like the Utah Jazz. They're not starting their training camp. Mm-hmm. Until October 1st. Wait, hold on a second. I don't think training camp can start until October 1st. The Houston Rockets have started their camp today. I know that 150%. James Harden was also at the game last night. Uh, that is a, I'm telling you, that is my sleeper team. That is my team that is going to win the NBA championship this year. I think Russell Westbrook and James Harden get the monkey off the back. I think Mike D'Antoni gets the monkey off the back. I think they are better than the Clippers. I think they are better than the Lakers. And I think Harden, uh, from what I hear, he's been working out eight hours a day. Those guys are ready. And, uh, you know, it's not like they're real, a sli- they're like third or fourth be, you know, what odds, they, odds are they, eight yeah. to one. They're, they're, some of them, I've seen some. I, at 12 I to think one. I think that's a reasonable bet. I, I have a I have a Rockets Sixers NBA final next year. I can see that. I, I don't like their coach though. I don't like the coach of the Sixers. Yeah, let's get Mo Cheeks back. No, Mo Cheeks won't won't do it either. But uh, anyway, I I could, I could see the Heat slip in there too. The Heat are pretty yep. underrated. We only have a few minutes here. It's amazing how this segment just flies by. Yeah. But your thoughts, guys, gentlemen, on on uh, what we saw both college and NFL. Why don't we do NFL over the weekend? Your thoughts on the games, particularly. Last night, I've checked I, out. I, I I've checked uh, out of the NFL. You checked out. <laughs> Dolphin, yeah. Dolphins are awful, he's so I've a, checked he's a out. Dolphins it's, it's, fan. It's, that's the game I wanted to just point out. Actually, of course, Antonio Brown. You know, much talked about over the past few weeks. He gets his debut with the New England Patriots down in Miami, and uh, New, the New England Patriots basically hold the form as they just slaughtered the Dolphins down there. But uh, it's going to be they might in, go undefeated. I, I'm going to be interested to see what happened. Yeah, 19, with the, 19 the NFL is always not un, that's not unreasonable for them. That could definitely happen. Yeah, but you guys understand that the uh, the accuser of Antonio Brown met with the NFL today. So I want to see the details of what transpires with that, because, of course, that's a could create quite a firestorm in the league, given uh, if there's anything that uh, could be considered explosive. The problem I meeting. have with that with that is, is mm-hmm. pay me two million dollars or I'm going to yeah. sue you and then go to your employer and not go to the police. And also, yeah, that that's a big thing. I right? Lee, I just, Lee, I, I'm just no curious about that. That's all. How it, do you not file a police there's report? There's a reason. If there's a reason for that, if there's uh-huh. a logical reason, I, I would just like to know what that is from a strategy standpoint or whatever. Yeah. I don't get it. If a crime was committed like that, then people need to help be held accountable um, criminally as well as financially. So I only got about thirty seconds left, Lee. Uh, I want you to be able to plug what the good things that you are doing in this town selling homes talk to me about well it. not only selling homes but we're fixing problems there are people out there who are renting right now and you want to buy mm-hmm. and you don't know how to get out of the lease or you're thinking well let me put it off mm-hmm. i can help you get out of your lease all right so give me a call 702-902-3029 if you want to buy and stop renting i can do that all listeners of the show a grand in your hand back at closing veterans hometown heroes work in the hospitality industry i'm giving you two grand free moving truck ADT Security. Call me, 702-902-3029. Follow us on social. I love it. At the GCI, guys. And love being here with you, fellas. Lee, thanks for coming in, man. Really appreciate yeah, it. Thanks also, a lot, Lee. also want to thank the senator for taking the time coming in studio to joining us. Pat Cassell be joining us in studio tomorrow. Chris, great job as always. We will see you tomorrow. Same time, same place. We're going to take like a 21-hour break. We'll see you tomorrow morning, folks. Sean Hannity coming up next.